What's going on, super friends up in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it five teenagers with attitude that run on for more than one season? Of course it is. What's going on, super friends? It's Super Dude, appropriately sporting the Power Rangers tee. Look at that in all its gloriousness. And it's in Japanese, too. So, I think that's Japanese, at least. Anyway... What video am I doing today? Well, as you recall, I talked about Shattered Grid before, um, and people seem to enjoy that, so I decided I would start doing a top seven video for different Power Ranger subjects. Top seven Megazords, top seven single Zords, top seven uh, weapons, top seven Sixth Rangers, da 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 blah 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 blah. Now... This will be the first video of that series with my top seven, my super seven, Power Rangers teams. Now, number one caveat of this is this is teams, not seasons. I can like a team, not enjoy their season. I can like a season and not enjoy their team. Two examples of that would be the Turbo Team. I like their team, did not like their season. Now, SPD is one of those I liked their season, didn't necessarily enjoy the team. So, things like that. We're going to be talking about teams, we'll do seasons in another video. Uh, another caveat, these are not... Number one is guaranteed number one best, se best team. Um, this team is best team. No, this is just my compiled list of seven of my favorite teams... It's just seven. Why seven? Because if you recall, there are seven original members of the Justice League, and we like to keep that dynamic here. So the seven original members of the Br Justice Bro Society of America, yada yada. <laughs> but I have my list here, and we're going to start with number seven, Dino Thunder. Now, I liked both aspects of Dino Thunder. I liked the season. I liked the team. I liked the season's callbacks to the original team. You had the Blue Ranger, who was a computer nerd. You had the Red Ranger, who was into sports. Uh, you had Tommy on the team as a nice as a nice throwback. You had an Evil Ranger that became good. Um, let's. There was not a whole lot about this team I didn't like. I like how each of them had their own individual goals. That sort of separated them at the beginning. Like you had Connor who was wondering whether he wanted to be a Power Ranger or be a soccer player. You have uh, Ethan who thinks Connor is an idiot because he only plays soccer. You have uh, Kira who really wants to be a musician. And uh, all of them have uh, individual, like they all have these individual goals that sort of drive them either away from or closer to the team, this, that, and the other thing, then you have Tommy to sort of balance it all out, and you get Trent, who doesn't really have a goal that I remember. Um, you even had the little... Uh, you had uh, Cassidy, Cornell, and her sidekick person, whose name is escaping me at the moment... But uh, I would have loved it for them to have become Rangers, but uh, I, I know there were no extra Sentai Rangers. We got the five da 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 blah 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 I know. I know. I just think it would have been cool if we'd have got Dylan. Dylan! That's his name. I think. I hope. I would have loved to have seen Cassidy at least be become a Power Ranger. Um... Whenever I heard Tommy was going to be on there, I was excited. I'm always excited for to see Tommy back um, in any aspect. I've seen uh, other people say they didn't like Tommy in certain seasons, that he was overbearing or this or that or the other thing. Um, I, I, for one, like Tommy as a character in general. Um, and I like that that he was not the central leader. He was more of the mentor guide of the team, so... Yeah, that's, and when I talk about favorite seasons, I'll talk about why I enjoyed that season. But, moving on to RPM. I liked RPM's team. 
uh, they all had things that made them unique to to one another. Like you had the Red Ranger, whose dad was literally a military general, so that's what made him the way he was. Then you had the Yellow Ranger, whose parents were weren't they rich or something like that, and she wanted to prove that she was she was better than that, and that money wasn't everything. And then you had Ziggy, who of course was always in trouble with the mafia. I'm going to say that again. There was the Mafia and Power Rangers. That's lovely. Um, then you had the Black Ranger, who was a robot. Android? Robot. Um, but my favorite of all the Rangers, my favorite of all of them, has to be the Blue Ranger, mostly because of the Scottish accent. Um, I love that he was a Scottish Ranger. I like that they didn't make him try to change that at all. Um and he still has one of my favorite lines from any of the seasons where he says, uh, it's where Ziggy becomes the Green Ranger for the first time and Black Ranger go off somewhere and the Rangers just were sitting in this dirt pile from the monster they just fought and the Red Ranger goes, all right, where's Red or where's Black and where's Green? And, and, this, and Blue Ranger looks at him and goes, forget where's Green. Who's green? Like, who was that guy? I love him. I love. Um, I would have loved. I would love to see him come back as a mentor or an, or for a cameo on another season. Uh, if I was building a, forever, a ranger team, like always a ranger team, he would be on there. Um, uh, I didn't like the the sixth rangers, like Jim and Gemma. I didn't care for them, but I thought that their penchant for blowing things up was fun. And I would have liked to have seen other rangers implemented, like the there are three suits that were action figures in America, either in Japan or America exclusives. It was like a T Rex, a Triceratops, and then another one. It was like crimson, light blue, and silver gray. Almost, it was really it was really interesting, and I would have loved to have seen them adapted into Power Rangers. But moving on from RPM to number five on the list, and that is Lightspeed, the Lightspeed Rescue Team. I enjoyed thoroughly the Lightspeed Rescue Team. Uh, I liked that they all did something. I liked that they all had other aspirations. Like they all, be they all did something that made them qualified to become Power Rangers. Like. Uh, the Blue Ranger was a dolphin, was a whale trainer, dolphin trainer, worked at SeaWorld, whatever. Uh, the Yellow Ranger was a, an extremist, a mountain climber, a, a skater, that that whole thing. The Pink Ranger was literally raised to be one of the Power Rangers. Uh, the Red Ranger was a firefighter, Green Ranger was a pilot. And so it sort of lent their special skills to being the the what they needed to become Power Rangers, which I thought was a a cool idea. Uh, I I hold up to the fan theory that Lightspeed becomes SPD becomes Time Force, but we'll talk about that in another and maybe we'll talk about that in a Morphin Conspiracy Theory video or something like that. You never know. Um, I liked the dynamic in the teams. I like that, it, like, the Yellow Ranger seemed to have a thing for the Blue Ranger, and the Pink Ranger, uh, was mixed, was, like, interested in the Red Ranger, and she also had her brother Ryan, who was the evil, sil the evil Titanium Ranger. You had that whole story going on, that whole family drama. I thought that was cool. Uh, Miss Fairweather on the team was really cool. She, the, the leader, Captain Mitchell, he was good. He wasn't just a useless bystander like some of these other Power Ranger mentors and leaders. He actually gave them reasons for doing what they did, and he had lessons to teach them. Instead of just being like, you or you didn't do good with friendship, so blah. He actually taught them, like, hey, you... You had the fastest time, but you got the lowest score in this obstacle course because you shot flammable cans. Literally, you could have you could have blown the building up, and you and and that actually plays into the episode later on. It's really cool. 
But moving from light, but yeah, that's why I like light speed is because they all had, they weren't perfect. Uh, moving on from light speed to wild force at number four. Uh, wild force was just a team I enjoyed. I enjoyed the 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 actors. I enjoyed the 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 people. I enjoyed that they all. Again, that they all had something to contribute to the team. Um, I liked that the red. I liked the Red Ranger story of um, how he lo- how he was lost and found a new family in the Power Rangers. I liked that they all had a little backstory as to why they became Power Rangers. Like um, I liked that Alyssa was a college student. I liked that. Taylor was in the Air Force. Uh, uh, the the backstory of Max and his bowling. The the fact that Danny gets a girlfriend but can't keep her because he's a Power Ranger and that's more important. That whole st- the thing. I enjoyed the story arc they gave the the Sixth Ranger Merrick. How he w- did a, a bad thing for a good reason and became a bad person that he had to overcome later on. And he didn't just. Okay, everything's good. I'm just going to rejoin the Power Rangers now. Like, nothing ever happened. Uh, it was an interesting dynamic. I I enjoyed them. It's one of those seasons that I can watch over and over again because the team is so good and because the they work so well together. So, when a team is good enough that I can rewatch the season because of just because of the team, it's a good team. Now again, these are my personal opinions. These do not you do not have to share them. Um, I would love to hear your opinions, but yeah, Wild Force, good team. Next team on my list, Lost Galaxy. I just liked Lost Galaxy. Um, I like that the Yellow Ranger. My. Mm. Mm. Maya, 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 she was from the planet where the Quasar Sabres that became, that made them Power Rangers is from, she, she had that sort of, uh, Jane of the Jungle thing going on where she could sense animals and talk to them and feel their spirits or whatever, uh, you had the Blue Ranger who was very serious and down to business, you had... The you had the pink ranger who was sort of the voice of reason to the blue ranger. You had the green ranger who was the mechanic of the whole ship who sort of ran everything himself. You had the red ranger Leo who was very much like me. He just sort of acted first and thought about it afterwards. Uh, you had his whole story. I loved the 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 story of how he wasn't chosen, but he. F- but he was he was given the burden of being the Red Ranger instead of being chosen to become the Red Ranger because his brother Mike was chosen. And then we get that whole Mike Magna Defender story arc, which I absolutely love. That'll come up in my top seven Sixth Ranger episodes coming eventually. But I, I'm a sucker for good stories. This is one of the first teams that had a death, a legitimate death. Sure, they retconned it at the end with because magic, but you still had to deal with the fact that the Pink Ranger died and they needed to get a new Pink Ranger, which was Carone, who was a ranger in one of my other favorite seasons that you'll hear about soon. So, <coughs> <coughs> Moving on from Lost Galaxy to number two, Time Force. Suck it. I liked Time Force. Time Force was cool. Um, I I enjoyed the the team aspect. That let's see, they all had again character flaws. They all had character flaws in the beginning that they had to work through as the season progressed. You had the Blue Ranger who was obsessed with his looks and had to realize that his looks weren't the most important thing. I don't think he ever really learned that though, like completely. He learned a part of that, but I don't think he ever fully learned that. Then you had the you had the Yellow Ranger, who was just sort of different because she was a strong-willed character, but also very kind-hearted, very sweet, very 
very loving. You had the the Pink Ranger who was on a vendetta that that blinded her to a lot of things for a decent portion of the the at least the first few episodes, if not more episodes after that. You had the the Green Ranger who had to deal with the the races the racism issue. He brought up a racism issue. What? What? And then you have the Red Ranger who was the the rich boy that's been handed everything that wants to prove that he's not just playing, that he does have something to fight for. And then you have Eric. Eric Myers, the Quantum Ranger. One of my favorite characters ever to be developed for Power Rangers. Uh, I love his character. His sort of... Nothing was handed to me, so I'm going to take everything attitude. His sort of, like... His hating on Wes, because Wes was handed everything on, like, a golden plate. And he's not about that. Um... Eric had to fight for everything in his life. He had to fight to become a Silver Guardian, and then he had to fight to become a a Power... Like, he, he saw the opportunity to become a Power Ranger, to be on the level, if not better than Wes. And so he took that, and he, he took the Quantasaurus Rex because he wanted to prove that he was the person that deserved to be the leader excuse me, of the, oh, of the Silver Guardians. And he took everything that he wanted. He had, he had the, the character flaw of seeing every mutant as dangerous where, where certain ones aren't. You saw that in an episode where you dealt with the, he, he looks like that, so I must destroy him. It, it was really heavy, really, really interesting, really out there for a Power Ranger show. Uh... But yeah, it. I gotta say, Eric's uh, story was one of my favorites ever created for Power Rangers. So that's why they, if this was a top seven list, it would rank very high up there. And I will most likely be including him in my top, uh, my top seven extra Rangers. And you sort of understand a little bit why here. And now on to number one. And this is a little bit cheating, but hey, my list, my rules. Number one is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team, the original five, all the way, all the way, all the way to end space. All the way. <sighs> Let's see. Where do I begin? This is the team where that it all started with. This is the team that started literally everything. Uh, you had Jason, Trini, Zach, Billy, Kimberly. And that started that started it all. They were the first Rangers chosen. Bring me five teenagers with attitude to become the Power Rangers. They started this whole trend. Um, and from Mighty Morphin to In Space, you sort of deal with a transitioning of people instead of new people every season. Once it hit Lost Galaxy, you sort of had new people every season. Um, or Light... Which one came first? Light, yeah, Lost, Lost Galaxy was before Lightspeed. Yeah. So you had Lost Galaxy that changed the mold. Um, but you had... Uh, Tommy was introduced in this season in Mighty Morphin. And then you had... Um, Jason, Zach, and Trini left. And then we got Rocky, we got Adam, and we got... Aisha. Please say that. I'm saying that right. Um... And then later on, we got uh, Catherine, and we got Tanya, and they transitioned into Zeo, where we got the Zeo Rangers. And then we went; they went from being the Zeo Rangers to being the Turbo Rangers, and then they gave up their powers later on, where we got uh, ooh, Ashley, please... Carlos, TJ, and Cassie, and Justin. We got those guys. Uh, yeah, Justin became the, the the blue turbo ranger after Rocky left because injury, 
in the movie. Um, and then even those guys transferred to In Space, uh, Turbo, uh, uh, TJ became the blue, Carlos became black, and then pink and yellow, Ashley and, or Cassie and Ashley, respectively, pink and yellow. Uh, they became the In Space Rangers with only one new addition, and that being Andrews the Red Ranger. And, and Zane the, the, the... Uh, Zane the Silver Ranger, excuse me. So yeah, they... You got to see and grow with these teams, and then of course In Space had the single biggest, should have been the, would have been the finale of Power Rangers, if you asked me, Ever. It was really intense, it was a really great ride, and I suggest going back and watching those seasons if you haven't. Mighty Morphin Season 1, all the way to the end of In Space. It's a really interesting journey. Alright guys, you know how I do. That was all. That was my top 7 favorite Power Rangers teams. If you have another video you'd like me to do, top 7 Blue Rangers, top 7 Extra Rangers, top 7 Power Rangers episodes, top 7 Rangers that were... Never actually Rangers, that, or whatever. Whatever you'd like to see, let me know. If you'd like to see me do another video, please leave your thoughts in the comments or mess, uh, message me on Twitter. Uh, you guys know my Twitter handle. I hope. Um, but, yeah, just let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you? If you've read Shattered Grid, what do you think? Uh, was it good? Was it bad? Did you cry? Did you not? Like, how, And if you didn't, how didn't you? Just let me know what you think, guys. But you know how I go. You guys have been super friends. You guys. I've been super dude. And until I see you again, it's up, up, and away, y'all.